Hey guys, today's video is going to be our weekly grocery haul and our dinners from the past week. I hope you love these recipes and try them out. Okay, so it is Walmart delivery day. We got our groceries. So I'm just gonna do a grocery haul real quick. It's kind of the produce and stuff's mixed in with everything. So I'm just gonna go through how it's laid out. We got three zucchinis. We love putting them in like stir fries or I mean anything, we love zucchinis. I got a cucumber for salads. I got two of the organic tomato basil pasta sauce. We use it for like when we make homemade pizza and pasta. I just like having tomato sauce. Um, three heads of iceberg. We go through iceberg. We use it for tacos. Um, put it, mix it with spring mix and salads. So we got three of those. I got two boxes of whole wheat spaghetti. The Walmart brand is actually really good. I got a loaf of Sara Lee bread. I like this bread, it's nice and soft. Um, and then I got a box of whole wheat elbows. Um, again, they're good. They don't taste too weedy, which is nice. Um, one red onion. I got our favorite plain almond milk yogurt, a can of cannellini beans. I got a head of organic cauliflower, a bag of organic corn. It's easy to just pull it out and kind of add um, what we need to recipes. A box of taco shells, a can of no salt added organic diced tomatoes, a can of refried beans for tacos, a thing of mushrooms, a thing of these crinkle cut carrots that we like to put in, again, stir fries or anything that we have a bunch of veggies in, they're easy to throw in. A big stack of corn tortillas. I'm not a fan of corn tortillas. My husband likes them and he wanted to get some, so I said I would try them. So there we go. Bag of tortilla chips. My husband got some Frosted Flakes. We got a bunch of bananas. Go through bananas. Two things of oat milk. One thing of this organic tofu sprouted really good container of organic spring mix container of strawberries kiwi garlic and some orange juice and that's what we got for the week so i have my meal plan for the week my little planner so this is what we're gonna have this week monday we're gonna do a baked macaroni uh with some like vegan grounds and vegan cheese and then bake it is super good um, Tuesday is going to be taco night, taco Tuesday, obviously. Let me interject here and say that I didn't make the shepherd's pie this week. I'm going to make it next week and I did not make lentil soup. Instead, we had beefless beef stew, which you'll see in this video. It is the 1st of October, so we'll bring it in with some nice warm and comfort food, some lentil soup. Friday we're going to do pasta night so we'll do uh, pasta and we'll do like garlic bread and salad with that. Saturday I have ramen stir fry so we make a stir fry with veggies and then add we'll probably add some tofu in there and then um, put ramen noodles in there. And then Sunday is going to be a Mexican quinoa. I've never made this recipe before. It's a crock pot recipe so we're going to try that and we're going to see how that turns out. Uh, it sounds good so hopefully it will be good. Here are the weeks. This week's dinners. So we'll see how that those turn out. Okay, so for tonight I'm making a baked macaroni in the oven. Um, I used to have this as I was a kid, so I don't know, I just had a craving for it. We're gonna have some garlic bread and a salad with it. But this, I'm gonna go ahead and start making the macaroni so I can get ready to go in the oven. First, you're gonna need some kind of noodle. I'm using whole wheat elbows. You can use any kind of noodle you want. Um, some sauce, I'm just using an organic tomato basil. You can make your own sauce, or I like this organic because there's nothing super bad in it. So it's a little shortcut. Um, some kind of meat or vegan crumbles. These are Beyond Meat crumbles. Sounded good, so I'm gonna put those in there. Never had those, so I'm thinking it'll be good in there. Some kind of cheese or vegan cheese. This is Biolife mozzarella shreds. This is probably one of the best vegan cheeses I've ever tried, and this is all we eat now. So I have that. I just have a zucchini I'm gonna put in there and some uh, 
nutritional yeast. We'll do salt and pepper to taste, of course, um, and some Italian seasoning. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get started on that. Tonight I am making a crock pot Mexican quinoa recipe. I've never made it so it's the first time so hopefully it's good but this is what you're going to need. You're going to need a cup of quinoa, a can of some kind of bean, uh, you can use black beans, pinto beans. I'm using a tri bean and that has black kidney and pinto in it. I thought that would be good. Um, a can of diced tomatoes. You're going to need some taco seasoning. I make homemade taco seasoning, um, which is really easy. You can look up kind of any recipe or you can just buy a packet, you know, pre-made already in the store if that's easier for you. I'm going to use some corn. You can use a can of corn. Um, so I'll probably put about a cup of corn in if you use frozen. And then I made some homemade enchilada sauce. You can get a can, a 15 ounce can of enchilada sauce, any enchilada sauce you like um, at the store. But I went ahead and just made a simple recipe of my own and I'm gonna add that. All right, so let's get everything in the crock pot. So for your enchilada sauce, you're gonna add one tablespoon of olive oil and one tablespoon of all purpose flour. Mix that together until it forms a paste. Then you're gonna add your spices. So I have one eighth of a cup of chili powder, one quarter of a teaspoon of garlic powder, one quarter of a teaspoon of cumin, one eighth of a teaspoon of dried oregano, 
and you can add some salt if you want. I didn't add any salt. Once that comes together, you're gonna slowly add your one cup of vegetable stock and just stir it and let it boil until it gets thick. With this recipe, I let it cook in the crock pot on low for about five or six hours. Um, it will probably get thick, and with that, I just added a little bit of vegetable stock just to keep it from sticking, and it turned out really good and was yummy. in the oven cooking um, and then we have some crunchy taco shells we got some corn tortillas we're gonna heat up some of these refried beans I have bio life cheddar shreds it's my favorite vegan cheese and then I'm also gonna shred up some lettuce and cut up some tomato and then we can put together our tacos For the batter for the cauliflower, I just did one cup of oat milk and one cup of flour, and you can add any spices into it. And then we also had a breading bowl that had panko breadcrumbs with a little bit of garlic powder, nutritional yeast, and then we just did wet and dry and got it on the baking sheet and cooked that at 360 degrees for about 35 minutes. So for the tofu and ramen stir fry, I used a half a block of sprouted organic tofu, extra firm. For the vegetable part, we used a zucchini, cauliflower, carrots, and a little bit of red onion. Cube the tofu and then put it in a container with some teriyaki sauce and let it sit in the fridge for a couple hours. And then when I was ready to use it, I just put it in the air fryer at 360 for about 10 minutes.
the ramen part, I use these brown rice ramen noodles that I get from Costco. You can use any noodle you like. Um, these you just put in a pot of hot water, boiling water, and they take about five minutes. They're super quick to cook. So tonight we're gonna make a beefless stew in the crock pot. It's the first time I'm making this, so hopefully it turns out good. This is what you're gonna need. So I have a bag of the Gardein beefless tips, one box of vegetable broth, it equals four cups, some organic red potatoes, some nutritional yeast, some red wine vinegar, mushrooms, celery, carrots, onion, I have a red onion, two cloves of garlic, bay leaves, parsley, thyme, and then just some salt and pepper. So let's get started. For the vegetables, I used about a cup of cut baby carrots, some red onion, two stalks of celery, about five red potatoes and about a cup of chopped white mushrooms. You can use any vegetables that you like, of course. cup of red wine vinegar. I added a tablespoon and a half of nutritional yeast, a teaspoon of parsley, three quarters of a teaspoon of dried thyme, and two bay leaves. And then you can add some salt and pepper to the taste. So about two hours before dinner time, I took the beefless tips and mixed them in a little bowl of flour and pepper and coated them. And then I put them in a hot cast iron pan just to brown uh, before I added them into the stew.
about 30 minutes before we ate, I took about two tablespoons of cornstarch and two tablespoons of water, mixed it in, and then just poured it into the stew just to thicken it a bit. All of these meals were enjoyed by my husband and I and our 10 and a half month old daughter so anyone can really eat it. Um, I hope you try these recipes and let me know if you think that they were as delicious as we thought they were. Thanks for watching. <laughs>